Hey everyone, it's Tess from My Contest Play, and welcome back to Pokemon Shield! I put Kyo at the head of my team to start off this episode. I can show you that really quickly. It's Kyo! And then, um, last time we fought Alistair and Raihan. My battle with Raihan went pretty much as I was expecting it to go, and Alistair was just a breeze. I was really, you know, I thought I was gonna have some trouble with Raihan, and I did have a little bit of trouble, but it was okay. Turned out in my favor for the end. Dun 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 dun. He gives you a smile. A little smirk. He's ready. The tents still air on the pitch, and the exact opposite from the audience cheering and yelling. They're both fantastic, wouldn't you say? But remember, the audience is also a bit cruel. They want nothing more than to see one of us lose, after all. It can fill you with fear knowing that, but I absolutely love pushing past the fear. I love giving it everything I've got as a trainer and seeing my team give everything they've got to seize another victory. It's the greatest feeling in the world, and I can't get enough of it. I can feel my partners itching with anticipation inside their Pokeballs. We're going to have a real champion time. I'm the Galar Regions champion, Leon. Me Ch and Charizard and the rest of our team will use all our knowledge and experience to crush you completely. You think so, huh? You think so? You think so, Leon? Wait, hold on! Hey, look at the monitor! What is that on the big screen? Hello there, Leon and Tess. Just letting you know. I think it's time I brought about the darkest day. For the sake of the Galar's future, of course. But I'm in a bit of a pickle. The energy released by the darkest day is too much for, my, for us to contain. I'm sorry it's come to this, but it's you who forced my hand, Leon. You refuse to listen. Lumbus just died. Lee, Tess. That video stream, that was from Hammerlock Stadium, right? What in the world did the chairman do? I don't know. But everything he was saying yesterday, did he really pull this crazy stunt to solve some problem a thousand years in the future? I've got to go see what's going on. I'm the champion. I have to go. I should have realized what the chairman intended to do before it came to this. I'll take responsibility for now. For responsibility now for fixing this mess. It's This is the real champion time. But Lee... You're terrible at directions. What if you get lost along the way? I want to help my brother, Tess. I've got to. But I can't even manage to beat you, so what sort of help can I ever be? You can help? Easy for you to say. Hold the phone. The chairman was talking about the darkest day. That's that thing where the sky went all dark once ages and ages ago, right? What does he mean? He's bringing that about. And where did he even hear that name? We even hear that name. Um, the statue of the hero. The statue of the hero in Motostoke. Sonia said something back then, didn't she? I thought it turned out to be wrong, since there were actually two heroes and all that. Still, those two managed to bring an end to the darkest day with the sword and shield Pokemon. Sonia thought that the Pokemon still be might still be sleeping somewhere, though, right? We should try to find them, Tess, but where to start looking? I think it gives you three options. Let's do the slumbering wield. That's it, Tess. I'm sure it's got to be the slumbering wield. That illusion you tried to fight off that day? It must have been one of the Pokemon that are supposed to be sleeping there. Let's go back to the slumbering wield. If we're lucky, we'll find something that can help. Changes clothes. Runs all the way back to the slumbering wield. We don't get to go to our hometown. Oh, we do. I thought we didn't get to go to Postwood. Whoops. Huh? Tess and Hop. Ah, oh, I can't believe I forgot about the championship match. What are you doing here? 
Haven't you been watching the news at all? The tournament is off, Sonia. The, cha the chairman saw to that, and to sending the entire region into a state of havoc. Huh? What? What happened while I was researching things in the slumbering wield? Well, for starters, there's a great black storm or something raging over Hammerlock Stadium. What are they calling it? The darkest day? It's thrown everything into disarray. Still, I'm sure we don't need to worry too much. The unbeatable champion will be able to take care of everything, won't he? Hold on a tick, ma'am. Did you say the darkest day? The darkest day is the name for the black storm that nearly brought the Galar region to ruin in ancient times. So, what are you here for, Tess? I'm here to stop the darkest day. Stop the darkest day? You mean you're going to search for the sword and shield Pokemon? Okay. Here, take this. You should head to the slumbering wield. I'll catch up with you once I'm done looking into something that's been bothering me. We got three max revives. Really? That's what you give us? Okay. Right into the slumbering wheel we go. Through the gate that the woohoo loo broke through. All that matters is that you do what you can. You've become a fine Pokemon trainer. After all. Ready for this, Tess? I wonder if we're about to head straight into a wall of fog again. Not that it'd bother us now. We've both grown load stronger, and so have our Pokemon. Going into the forest after Wulu that day? It was for the start of everything, wasn't it? A legendary beginning, really. I reckon whatever we're about to see will be pretty legendary itself. Let's head in and add another page to our tale. The Slumbering Wield! Last time we were here, we ran into Pokemon like this. <laughs> I didn't think. This is rookity, like a level one or two or five, whatever they start at. Yeah, I'm not going to end this poor little rickety's life. I'm going to just keep going. I feel like this wouldn't even be a KO. I feel like it would be a just a death sentence. So I'm just going to stay out of the grass. Oh, <laughs> or just be really in this wild slip its way. I think this is kind of cool. Last time we were here in the, you know, the slumbering wield, we were running through. We barely, barely had level three Pokemon ourselves. So, oh, I did that, that. I just ran right into that one. We didn't really have Pokemon that could fight. Like every, like this, like this Swovet would have been a challenge because, you know, we didn't have very much back then. I had like Ember and that was like it, if that, if that. Ah, no. <laughs> but what's cool is we can actually go farther in. Look at this. There's like, it's not just, I mean, we're running into fog, clearly. Oh, wait, I think it's coming up now. Like, there are higher levels of Pokemon. Yeah. Like, these guys, like, they're not just level threes anymore. That's how it started. That's not how it's going. I'm gonna run over here and grab this item. There are a lot of really good items here in the slumbering wheel if you take the time to like go and find them all. Oh no! What did I run into? Oh nope. I don't really want to see you, Orbital. You need to grind. Like if you find that your Pokemon just aren't a high enough level right now, like if, if all of those previous battles were just complete struggles, um, this is a good place and a good time to do it. Um, because we are gonna- yeah, Hey, Sparkle! There is a fight coming up where you need to be a little- a little higher level around where I am now. So if you're not there, which I don't know how you wouldn't be, um, unless you really like went back and found Pokemon that were- like, way lower level and you never use Dynamax candies and stuff like that. Like... To like... Aww. To like, force your Pokemon to be higher levels and stuff. Um... Ah! No! I want this. But I don't like you! I fight you enough with Mike! Nope. Stuck. Um... Hmm. Have to find my way to that log. So I can get across to get that item. Um, yeah, this is a good place to do that. It's a good, I already went up here. This is a good place to um, grind a little bit. And if you, like, 
Ah, oh, really wanted some of these Pokemon. This is, no. No, nope, nope. Say if you really wanted a Weezing, this was a great place to get one if you hadn't found one previously. Run! Run for your life! This is also why I wish I still had Pokedolls. Or like a Repel Mist, I guess. Nope, 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 nope. The other part about this that I find really funny is you can get lost. Oh, there it is. That's what I was looking for. This is where we were in the water. Um, like I get lost. Like the first time I ever did this, I was like, I ran around I think four or five circles before I actually found Phantom Force, really? Um, before I found like the actual story. I don't know why. For some reason I was just so turned around. Watch, I'm gonna get lost again this time. But I'm gonna find more items! A smoke ball. That's kind of cool. <laughs> There's Hop. So you can come to one direction. That was a branch. What's with this fog? It's even worse than the first time we came here. Uh oh. Here it is, like a blanket. But it's not warm. And it contains legendary Pokemon. really are here! The sword and the shield Pokemon! I knew it! No, I knew it. I told you. Uh-oh. They're fogging us out, man. Run! Hey, where are you going? We need your help over here! You two, what in the world are you doing? What? Come off it, Sonya. We mu you must have seen that, right? Those, those sword and shield Pokemon! They were right in front of us! But then they disappeared into the forest. Hop, you sure you haven't lost the pot? The plot? There's no one here but the two of you. What? Then were those just illusions or something? Listen, I dug into some literature from the other regions and I finally found something. Mentions of the sword Pokemon Zycan and the shield Pokemon called Zamazenta. I will figure out how to actually say those names. I forgot ask Mike how you actually say them. The writing said that these two Pokemon were born somewhere beyond the slumbering wield some time long long ago. Did they really? Ta, Sonia, thanks for digging into it. Even if it is just an illusion or whatever, we did manage to find that Pokemon again. Maybe the sword and shield or those two who used to carry are still here too. Hop, why do you keep leaving without me? I know you have to because animations or whatever, but ah! What a long run. Oh, there we go. I was like, where is the end? So pretty. It's just so pretty. Would you take a look at that, Tess? Now that's something you don't see every day. This place definitely feels like the stuff of legend. It really does. Look how beautiful that water is. It's a little broken, but it's okay. Got a sword and a shield. See that, Tess? The sword and the shield. The legends were really true. You obtain a rusted shield. That settles it. I'm taking the sword. Though, wow. Would you look at the state of this thing? It seems like it might fall into pieces if you so much as look at it funny. I don't know if these rusty old things will really be able to stop the darkest day, but, well, I guess I can't hurt to have them along. Let's hope they bring us some good luck. I hope so, too. Maybe the Pokemon themselves really are still asleep somewhere. So it seems we're on our own if we want to go help Lee. This is all the help we've got. 
And I think I'm going to end it here for today. And we will go find Leon next time. Thank you so much for watching.